Happy Wednesday, everyone. This is a pick a card reading for June 16th. Wednesday, you pick a card. That's your main energy, but I do pull it all together. Cards are for all of us. June 16th, birthdays, we'll do your reading next. If you pick card number one for June 16th, today you have the moon and it is a major arcana. Okay, I feel, for some of you, follow your intuition. You may be feeling or sensing an ending um, or end, or some kind of transition. Maybe you will have a dream, okay? Um, you, there is an energy that I feel there is something's in the works in divine, uh, timing or it's, you know, it's just, um, it's the universe. Um, the universe is coming in and it's like there are endings or transitions or something that is happening here, sometimes beyond our control. Um, to me, there is also a, a message here. Um, I don't know why music is coming into play. If a song is repeating in your head, there is a reason for it. Um, there is major changes um, are coming up for you. This is a time where some of you may be contemplating some kind of separation or separating from someone or something. So there is going to be something that is ending is what I'm feeling here, okay? If you pick card number two, you have the three of swords. Okay. I feel this is pain from the past or someone is coming in from the past. This is someone you could have had a fallout with. This is, um, an, uh, it can be an ex, okay, a past love or something like that. I do feel that you um, you may have your guard up, okay? It's like you know the truth. You're st uh, sticking with your truth. You're taking your power back, but there is some anger here, okay? There's some anger involved here. There is someone, this could be someone from the past. There are some disappointments here or someone who has disappointed you. Um, so I do feel that energy, but you are definitely taking your power back. You could be dealing with an, I want to say a person who is very stuck in their ways. This could be someone who always is kind of, I want to say icy. Um, but... A lot of you know better, and you're stick. You're 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 definitely going to be taking your power back. Okay, that's definitely what I'm feeling here for some of you. This could be just a trigger as well. Um, if you have goals or plans, people may be also sticking their nose where it doesn't belong, and it's ultimately you make your own choices. Don't let anyone um, make them for you, or doubt, or you feel like some kind of doubt. I do feel you're strong for it, though, okay? You're, you'll be shutting it down. Card number three. Yeah, see? Nine of Cups. Very happy energy. I do feel some of you, this is like um, something you're waiting for, or this is like making some future plans. Um, there's more confidence here, too. This could be, yes, there is money coming in. I feel it's some kind of money addition to or something you're waiting for. Definitely taking back your power is going to make you happy is what I'm feeling. This is a good, happy card. I do like this. There is a sense we're taking our power back with, with this energy too when we're seeing all of this. But don't overdo anything. You know, it's like be cautious with the energies that I'm seeing around too. But it's a good one. Okay, you, you for some of you, you're gonna make the right choice, is what I'm feeling. Okay, when we pull this together, moon, three of swords, nine of cups, it's not the worst energy. I feel messages are going to be very important today emails, spiritual messages. Okay, for some of us, we're just kind of moody, and there is a sense of low self esteem, addressing that, or insecurities. Some agreements may be coming through. Okay, for some of you could be dealing with um, verbal agreements or these could be, you know, just uh, contracts, um, negotiations. I don't know. There is something there, but there's going to be kind of a sudden change in energy. Okay, so expect some kind of changes. There is something that we are definitely maybe reminiscing the past or something from the past, but we're going to be moving forward. We're shutting it down. We're saying no. Um, and we're, we're definitely opening you pa passageways for ourselves. Um, 
it is, you know, the things may not be the way you thought they'll be because we do see the moon here. There's also a Scorpio type of energy here. But look, we really end up with the Nine of Cups, which I do like. I also feel that there is going to be some good news or great opportunities coming up. Maybe in the next three days too. Okay? So that is the reading for today, June 16th. All right, moving on to June 16th. Birthdays. Happy birthday if you were born today, June 16th. This is a very quick and general reading. This is a solar theme and your wish card. Your solar theme is the magician, a major arcana. This is a year where you may have breakthroughs. Everything you're working on um, and you put your effort in, you can manage. you got creative solutions. You can manifest very good energy from what I'm seeing here. Some things are on divine timing. Uh, pay attention to your dreams, your intuition, okay? So I do, I do feel that energy very strongly indicated. For some of you, there's going to be some sudden changes. Um, and it's going to be for the, for the good. It's almost like breaking free, so to speak, okay? When it comes to work, career, um, school, I do feel you will be mastering something too, okay? There is good energy here. These are good business deals, good jobs. Some of you may get a promotion. Some may open your own business. Um, there is a good energy here. Um, with that as well. And I feel um, that some of you may also, I don't know, you have that golden Midas touch, okay? When it comes to finances, follow your intuition. There is um, an energy here that's guiding you. You could be dealing with an institution and a group of people as well. But you, manifestation is really high. You can actually manifest um, good um, fortune to you, even money. When it comes to love, if you are single, um, there could be some trust issues. You need to kind of open your heart. You may have to make some kind of choice and decision, a little bit of drama maybe around. Um, if you are in a relationship, there is a nurturing energy here. Um, there is also responsibilities that come with it, and it's very good um, energy. I think there's more nurturing in the relationship. Um, when it comes to all relationships, you do have a sense of a wish coming through or a victory. There is some good movement here. Maybe while you're traveling, travel is picking. I, I see, too, you may be meeting people. It's just very good inspire, inspiring energy, too. Okay. Your wish for your solar year is the Four of Cups. Okay. There is, I have to say, even I want to go back to the um, magician. This is also telling me that creative solutions and harmony is very important. Um, home, foundation, domestic is very important. There's a, har a harmonious energy here and needing that balance and you can achieve it. Also, this, I'm just picking up the white here, which um, means health. Health is showing up too, making healthy choices, nutrition-wise, mental, emotional choices too, so health and well-being is showing up. With the Four of Cups, which is your wish card, what I'm seeing here is it's basically a yes, but there's a new beginning here. You're going to have to kind of clear your energy, okay? Um, it's like sometimes be careful what you wish for, so to speak, because there are the opportunities that are coming in. You may miss them or you're not seeing it, so it could be like a blessing in disguise or there's something there. Clear the energy, and I do feel it's a yes, okay? Okay. All right, so yeah, that's what's showing up here. The important numbers for your solar year is 10, 9, 7, uh, 1, 4, 2, and 77. I hope you have a 9 and 9. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful solar year. Everyone else. A wonderful Wednesday and bye for now.